Okay, so it's Stevie M here with the Big Bad Show in King Tut's in Glasgow, sitting with the Sherlocks, which consist of two sets of brothers. To get this right, it will be Brandon, which is yourself, to the left of me, Kieran to the right of me, and your last name's Crook. Yep. Um, and then across from me is Andy, which is to the left, across from me, and Josh to the right, Davidson, who's sporting a rather um, 1D look about him here. Um, uh, that's probably not something I should have said, but um, he's got a, yeah. they're copying you, right? Well, he said that all his life. It was born with it. So, Kieran, you are the lead vocal singer and the rhythm guitarist. Yeah. Uh, you sound great on tracks and a lot of people that I have spoken to regards to the the track that I have played Chasing Shadows, there's a an Arctic Monkeys sound about you. How do you feel about being compared to the likes of the Arctic Monkeys? Um sort of expect it with accent, but I take it as a compliment, I take it all in Australia. And for the listeners who don't know where you come from and sort of taking the gist of the accent, tell them exactly where you come from. It's from a it's a little village in it. A little village called Bolton on Dern, which is like based in between Sheffield and Barnsley and Doncaster. It's it's in the middle of everything, but we class ourselves as like a Sheffield based band. Sheffield. Um so tell me a wee bit about that song Chasing Shadows, because it's not really the only one I can get other than demo on SoundCloud. Uh, who who wrote that? Uh, well I wrote it. <laughs> I wrote a lot of it in in England like and then I wrote it um, just before we went on holiday, so I wrote, I wrote like most of it in Spain when we were on holiday. <laughs> yeah, I were in an happy mood, because I were in Spain, I were happy all the time, so that, that inspired <laughs> that inspired track and it, flew, it flows well. Andy, um, back in vocals and bass guitar, bass guitar, it's, a lot of people don't really notice a bass guitarist in a band because you're kind of tucked in the corner away out of the road. Yeah. You're kind of probably out of all the lads. You could probably put a, a kind of pinpoint on you, One Direction Oasis. Uh, he's got his own look. Uh, yeah, uh, same with yourself. You've got your kind of own. The two years look more like comedians. <laughs> how how hard is bass guitar to learn? Hard, hard, hard. Well, it depends what you're playing, really, doesn't it? Like. <laughs> For a mere mortal, it's hard, but not for him. Is that right? Originally, I played, learned to be a like John Norman guitar, just electric, and band needed a bassist, so I jumped on bass line. I've been playing it obviously since it started for about three and a half years now. Now, if my sources are correct, you were supposed to be the lead vocal singer, is that correct? Originally, yeah. And then you decided that you were going to just play the bass. Yeah. And you obviously took up the, the role of the backing vocals as well. Yeah. I couldn't sing and play at bass at the same time when I first started, so I had to, like, these boys had to sing. Is that just because of a guy thing, like multitasking? Because apparently those guys can't multitask. Yeah, it's impossible. Which I think is a lot of rubbish. Nice. Right, because you're not fairness. Bass, so um, um, so, so being in the band, you're you getting so bigger all the time, more noticed. How how does that affect you in your, your, you know, in your public life, walking up the street in your hometown? Well, yeah, a lot of people notice you for a start. Especially in this village. Yeah. We were chipping over there, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Then somebody, like, going, saw his name on a poster, like, of this festival. They were like, Sherlock's. Oh, they meant them, they were Mickey. Like, I was stood, like, behind them, and I was saying, oh, did I? And they were going, right, band them, play all their own stuff. It's like, and woman behind Kelton going, oh, yeah, I've heard they're good, I've never seen them, though. And I'm all going, oh, they're brilliant. <laughs> Hey. So Josh, your vocals and lead guitar. Yes. That's lead guitar is probably one of the sexiest. Well, yeah. In all fairness, in a rock band, lead guitar is usually. How did you get into electric guitar in the first place, or any guitar? Yeah, I stumbled across my uncle playing an old uh, classical guitar, and I jumped on it. Got one for my birthday. Never looked back. Right. Just. Just taught myself. Uh, so how many years you've been playing? About ten or no, about seven. Seven years. That's quite a while. 
so I've only three years to get any good. I just got into that three weeks ago, and this is me just started learning. So, and I only year. got only got one because my three year old daughter wants to learn guitar, yeah. and um, no instructor would actually teach her because right. she's too young. Yeah. Uh, that's what they say. So somebody told me teach yourself on YouTube, and while you're teaching yourself, teach her. Yeah, daughter. just just as good on YouTube tuition. Um, so he's a played sort of festivals before. A uh, sort of, what's the biggest festival he's would love to do? Uh, probably Glastonbury. Isn't it? Would love to do, yeah. Uh, definitely Glastonbury. Probably best festival or one of the best festivals doing. Yeah. The biggest uh, that is coming up just shortly, is it not? Yeah. yeah. So you'd you'd have fan. another still a chance. See as they were up here, Tina Park. Yeah, uh, Tina Park's a big one. Especially when it's raining. <coughs> right, Brandon, on to you, the drums. Well, tell us a bit about the drums, how long have you been playing them? Since about 14, 15. That's about 6 years, 7 years. Six, that's that's right. He's all kind of started. No, well, that's about it. Yeah, it's about 6 years. So he's all kind of started playing instruments around them at the same time? Well, they even know each other, but we all started about the same time. Yeah, well, well, yeah, no, I'd say when, when did the band start? Three years, four years ago. Like we, oh, I'd yeah, say we yeah. started at the same time, yeah, so it was probably yeah. like a year, a year and a half before band started us two anyway. So that's mm -hmm. like I'll play half, no, five I'll start, years. Yeah, I started playing drums in music club in school. Just not that one ago. Like, yeah. You really start to learn properly when you playing every day. You a band. You learn more playing as a band live than you do in your bedroom. Uh huh. So, I mean, do you, do you jam every day or do you have day jobs or Just is, is, that, is this your day job? Uh, no, like a couple of us that study in and... I've developed my life to man. Like you're at uni? Back, right? Yeah, just like part-time stuff studying but we push it back then. Right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask you for out of your own songs, your favourite, your own personal favourite song out of all your tracks, and we'll do it individually, and we'll start. Like, uh, no, play live, no, uh, we'll go for play live. So play, play live, man. You've made a mistake to play live. Right. Yeah. Keenan, man's gonna be chasing shadows. I love playing that every time. Andy, uh, I'll go for Out of Gold as one of his new ones. Just been oh, shadows. Probably for the moment, just to be different from the one. So the only one I've really heard of is Chasing Shadows, and that one is on my playlist. Usually, it's a cracker, on actually. repeat, it's quite good for when I'm out on the bike. So yeah, a good motivation yeah. track, so hey, I've got that one. Um, so, as we said before, you're two sets of brothers, and the manager is your father, yeah. Kieran and uh, Brandon. Uh, his name's Michael, yep. and he's not here today, unfortunately. He's not with commitments. Oh, yeah. right. So he kind of works full time and looks after yeah. you guys. So does he deal with the transport to gigs? Does yeah. he deal with setting up the gigs? He so put a lot of money to it. It's normally at every gig, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just since we've like started getting gigs like this, which is midweek, he struggles to get them. But yeah. Brandon like, does all driving yeah. to gigs. Obviously, he's a drover. Yeah. Most bands we usually interview have got some sort of fancy bus. So. Yeah. Uh, Hey. Right, little so, Kieran, I'm going to ask you this question. How would you describe your music to people that haven't already heard these? Um, I think it's uplifting, pretty energetic. I don't know. It's like a, it's just an upbeat sound. Like pretty much all, pretty much all of his songs are upbeat and uh, catchy. I think. Excellent. So, when did you guys form? As a band, 2010, I think. Yeah. And it, it was just through messing around with yeah, the instruments and stuff. Me and Brandon used to play. I think we all, us three, used to play football together on green, didn't we? Yeah, that's how it started. Just messing yeah. about, and then us three started playing together. No, yeah, no serious, and then. Yeah. Because it, it was your grandparents that stayed next to you, oh, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. we lived next to each other. Yeah. That's how we met Yeah, me playing some tasty licks one night and they thought we'd get me banned. <laughs> <laughs> um, the name the Sherlocks who came up with that, that was, was you, yeah. Brandon, wasn't it? Uh, along, more along the lines of the no Sherlock and not yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Um, 
is that your kind of slogan? No shit. Not really. We <laughs> got it on side up, man. I saw that. No, not really. Just come about it. <coughs> Andy was just a uh, obvious stuff like a few years ago. Quite young. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, re- it's raining outside. Like no, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, well, was, well, well done, Andy. Like, why not <laughs> call it Sherlock? And we had no else going for us at the time, and it just stuck. Oh. The time bandit, so a lot of people like. Quite unique, so everyone remembers it. People See, like Time it. Bandits now would be quite popular because of the hit documentary t- yeah. series Deadly Scatch. Yeah. Uh, that would maybe get you recognised across the water, but then. That was uh, one suggestion. We scrapped that and just stuck with Sherlock. I like the Sherlock's, it sound, it's more intriguing. Sounds like a band. Uh, um, so you have played, is it the Musborough Fest? Musborough Festival, yeah. Uh, how Five. did that go? Twice. Yeah, good. And got on stage with Farm at Ending. Fantastic. Yeah. Good crowd. Sang all together now, we. Right. Got a good laugh. Done it twice. Been good both times. Yeah. And we got a better slot this year as well. So we were on just before. Well, yeah. not far off the twang, were we? Like yeah, one yeah. band after. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Like that. We were a good crowd, yeah. Ah, excellent. Uh, famously, who would you like to collaborate with? Um, in fact, I'll ask that as an individual question, teachers. So, I won't mind collaborating with uh, Pete Doherty uh-huh. or, or Tom Clark from The Enemy, maybe. Uh, Possibly. What about you, Brandon? I'll, 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 I'll play drums for anyone who knows who I'm into. I don't, I don't really know, it's a bit different being a drummer, innit? You don't yeah. really, I'll play for anyone. Cool. Uh, Andy? Uh, probably Paul Weller. Probably. Just little like, yeah, I mean. Josh. Probably get uh, Ringo and Paul, and I'd be, I'd be a gentleman. Yeah, excellent. Nice that. Uh, you've got a kind of backing, a good support from the view as well, from what I could see on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, how does that make you feel? You know, to be, to have so, a band that large sort of backing you all the way as well. Um, yeah. Even though it's like. And gives you that kind of famous recognition. Yeah, look yeah. yeah. Quite a few like well recognised bands that are like helping us. Yeah, helping us and a lot of them just say uh, we've heard of you. Yeah, like, we've heard like we're making a bit of noise and people yeah. are, like who are quite uh, in our kind of music have heard about us. Uh-huh. It's good. So, it's good. so what what kind of other bands have you got in the fall one? What for uh, support? Fall one news, yeah. No, like oh, well, like, foreign is. Um, no, Enemy's one of the main ones, Ed. Yeah, you do a lot of supporting for them, don't you? We've supported them twice. We're supporting them soon at Stoke. Um, Reverend. Reverend and Makers from yeah. Sheffield. They're, they're near us, so they're, they're birders and they're supporters. A couple of like, people like Cliff Bowen and that, actually, Spiral Carthage. I don't know, there's a... GET IN! Sorry! <laughs> For those, for those that are listening yeah. to what that shout was, England have just scored. We've got the guys crowded round a mobile phone here watching the, <laughs> the England game on, game on, uh, on, on live feed here. Just, just a tapping, but well worked. Yeah, yeah. So that's now one each. Yeah, standard yeah. England. So there's still a chance of saving it. Rude! <laughs> no need to ask what team you'll be supporting in the World Cup then. Right. Um, first time in Scotland, lads? Uh, fourth, I think. Fourth. Played at a couple of venues. The Garage. Pivo, Pivo. A little way. Like, yeah, King. <laughs> tonight at King Tuts, and we did a little uh, private thing in, in an estate called Glen Striven. That were, uh, yeah. And obviously the base one's going to be King Tuts. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah definitely. <laughs> By a mile. Okay, guys. People. Well, thanks for talking to us. But just before we go. Man. Uh, where can the listen, lovely listeners get your albums? Get his albums? Um, from iTunes at a minute. iTunes. iTunes. If you go on our website, the uh-huh. Sherlock's. Amazon is it? Yeah. Amazon, yeah. Or his website. Yeah. Buy it at gigs, come to a gig and buy one. Where is your next gig? Sixth point enemy. It's still. Sixth point enemy, it's still, yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for talking to us, guys. Thanks.